All right, so next on the list is the rear drive shaft. So it's easy compared to that crap I just went through. All I gotta do is break it free. And one thing we'll do is the same for the front. We'll mark the, we'll mark them. So this one gets that one and we'll put one mark on that one. Because we got a spline up there, we got a on this end. Over on this end of it, we're got we got the spline going to come out, so it might hit on this. So I'm going to get another piece of blue jean and put it right there. So, put that right there. That way, when it drops down. When I pull this other end off, it'll pop right down. You don't have to worry about damaging that spline. All right, so all of our bolts are out over here. So all the bolts are out. So now we just got to separate the joint. So just get something and try to find a little place to pry. But you can pivot that. Without damaging the ball bearings or the shaft or anything. Give us a little thump. There we go. You can check these while you're at it. I think feel right. good on those. So now, we'll get a drive shaft leaning down. We just got to give it a tug and you'll see the whole shaft come out. We got to get up here so we can catch it. There we go. So, got the drive line out. We didn't need our piece of blue jean because we caught it, which is a good thing. But, we'll take our little piece of blue jean and we'll open it up. Put it on the outside of that sleep. You can see maybe it's starting to drip down right there. So we got our little pad down here to catch it. Let us let it drip. Our next stop is going to be pulling this transfer case. We want to get it off the transmission so we can drop the transmission straight down. Like say this, this is in the way. So if you left it hooked to it and you went to pull the transmission, you can't drop it straight down. So I believe just from a work and splitting up the weight, I think we probably are better off taking this off and uh, getting it out of the way, and then the transmission will be a whole lot lighter. We can deal with it a little bit better. All right, so next stop will be getting set up to do the transfer case. All right, so we are getting set up to drop this transfer case out. But, since my transmission jack won't go this high, I got to let this one back down for a little bit in order to uh, get the case down low enough that I can get my carrier on. So, you can see over here, what I did is put a couple blocks in between the frame and the end of the transfer case. And that'll allow me to drop this jack out. This will hold it all up in there, and then I can lower this down, get it the right height for my transmission jack and then I'll be able to unbolt all this so before I do all that I'm going to get a little bit done that way I don't have to be down so low getting all this so I still got it supported here these are just loose so they're waiting on me so I'm still holding up by the transmission but what I want to do is get some of these flange bolts loose but not uh, loose enough one or two of them that way it'll hold the weight so down here I want to keep those flange bolts but I'll get everything out of the way so we head over here on this side. We got to take this off. And then I'll drop it down a little bit, but you can see like this hose goes to the transfer case. So 
it's got to get disconnected. I don't know where it goes up there, but we'll disconnect it from the transfer case. Let it hang down. So, we'll get it pulled loose. Probably a breather. Breather of some sort. And there's another one that clips on top of the transfer case. It's up above here. It's in a little clip. So we just have to get that clip loose. the little clip loose. You see right here, that's the hose. So it builds up. So he's got to come loose. Another breather for the transmission or something, I'm guessing. Okay, so now we want to take the mount loose so we can get to our bolt. Second, we have a look at our transmission. All right, so the gasket for that looks like that. It's got six holes, so six holes right there must be one up on top. So we got to take those six bolts loose and drop this thing down. So that top one. Maybe a little hard to get to with the transmission in this position. So what I may want to do is take a couple of these blocks out and just let that rest down a little bit. And then I can try to slide that out of there. I don't know if I can get my hands up on the top to get to those bolts. Let's see how hard it is to be to break free. Oh yeah, they're not too tight. for a seal because I sure wouldn't want to put that back. Way to transmission because I don't want to have too few bolts but I sure don't want to have all of them. back up. Alright, so we're lowered down and we got our red jack over here and our other jack over here. Now we just got to take those three bolts loose and see if we can pull this transfer case back. Our three nuts loose. Progress, little by little. <coughs> I don't really want to put anything on the seal surface of it. And we don't want to damage that seal surface. 
I do want to slide it back. So. I think it's just kind of a playing game. I don't know how I could do jack. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. It's a lot, I sell every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway We can get that shaft to clear From there And then hopefully we can Rotate things around Clean up all of this, and then we'll get ready tomorrow to pull that transmission out. Alrighty, stay tuned for the next part.